Brazil. You know Brazil for its football, warm weather, and rainfalls. But Brazil is now making a spot for business in the world. So many startups have been raised successfully in Brazil. And today, we're going to share the story of one of which is known as the Agroland. Agroland. The Agroland is one of Brazil's raised companies. This company startup agriculture technology. It was launched to help Brazil, small and medium-sized farmers to be supported with credits, better equipment and technology to improve manufacturing and pro stability. Agroland was established in December 2020 and has since risen to 24.6 million. The company has eight investors and an employee size of between 11 and 50 people. Alan, Andre Klezar, Leopoldo, and Valeria Bonadio are the author of the technology startup, and its headquarters are located in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We no way wanted to be a credit intermediary. We always wanted to be an actual credit bank. That's the only way to disrupt the industry. Doing everything end-to-end -end has allowed us to deliver a unique experience in terms of ease and speed in granting credit and to put together a competitive operations in terms of cost. And that, at the end of the day, is what credit offer is all about. Convenience and competitiveness, said CEO Andre in an interview with Labs with his brother Alan. Agroland target public is an estimated contingent of 700,000 small and medium-sized rural producers of all kinds of crops spread all over Brazilian states, with annual revenues between BRL 500,000 and BRL 5 million. According to the Glazer brothers, these are individual producers with a slightly more robust operation who demand capital to buy inputs, pay suppliers, and access technology, the basics to make the operation run. The rise of Agroland. The Agroland has raised a total of 21 million in new funding for its farmers. Agroland provides the loan without the need for physical collateral. This company offers a digital result for expedient to bypass the inaccessibility problems of the incumbent banking system. The standard bank typically warrants understanding the agricultural special technology, such as unstable rainfall, market volatility, and the seasonal nature of the product. Agroland is trying to close this gap in the request which until now has been led by Agribusiness Transnational. Originating loans for farmers requires connection throughout supply chains, and only players like Syngenta, BASF, and their distributors have been suitable to do that until now, Glazer says, and that's why the startup is partnering with them. Syngenta and other companies are extending loans in Brazil in a way that is not done in other corridors of the world. The problem here is that currency depreciated a lot over the last few years, and there has been increasing pressure because most of the agro inputs are priced in US dollars. As things depreciate, there is a greater need for credit in local currency terms. The Sao Paulo-based startup loans range from 50,000 Brazilian reals, 9,050, to 300,000 reals, $54,300, covering a wide variety of crops, the loans last for up to one year, and the farmer pays Agroland after harvest. The entire process happens online, from requesting the loan to making the hidden face. The key challenge for us is to raise much more money for loans, Glazer says. Agroland in 2022. Agroland is a retreat by the Veller Capital Group, Continental Grain Company, SP Ventures, Province Capital, Itao Acid, and others. The company raised 21 million in series, including 14 million in equity and 7 million in debt on January 19th, 2022. This brings Agroland total funding to $42.7 million to date. Agroland is presented in further than 10 Brazilian countries and several parts, similar soybeans, corn, sugarcane, coffee, livestock, dairy cattle, wheat, fruits, vegetable, cooking oils, meat, eggs, seed, cotton, and agricultural products. Agroland was included among top 25 agriculture companies in Forbes ranking. That was all about the rise of Agroland. Thanks for watching.